I rise to offer an amendment that would exempt from the plan any oil and gas drilling in the North Atlantic planning area which extends from New Jersey to Maine. Now I oppose the underlying bill and I think it's poorly drafted and extremely problematic, but I must make a point that in the incredibly unlikely event that this bill would make it into law, we cannot have any plan that considers offshore drilling in the North Atlantic. An oil spill off the Atlantic coast would be devastating to coastal communities in New Jersey and up and down the Atlantic Ocean. The Jersey Shore is home to over $700 billion in coastal properties, and the tourism industry generates almost half a million jobs, nearly 10% of my state's entire workforce. New Jersey's commercial fishing industry generates over $7.9 billion annually and supports over 50,000 jobs. Fortunately, there is widespread consensus that the Atlantic Ocean should not be open to oil and gas drilling and put at the risk of an oil spill. 259 Atlantic Coast municipalities are on the record, say they don't want drilling. In addition, 42,000 businesses represented by the Business Alliance for Protecting the Atlantic Coast and 500,000 fishing families from Florida to Maine are on record opposing offshore drilling. Their right to support a ban. As you know, our coastal communities depend upon healthy ocean ecosystems. It's vital that the federal government protect the roughly 1.75 million American jobs and $137 billion in GDP that come from activities along the Atlantic seaboard in industries such as tourism, recreation, and fishing. It would be wrong to risk Atlantic coastal communities key economic engine, a clean ocean, for a roughly seven month supply of oil and six months supply of gas when a spill would leave permanent damage. So I've been fighting to exempt the waters off the Jersey Shore from oil and gas drilling for decades. It was the first bill I introduced in Congress when I was first elected. And while I don't support the bill we're considering today, it certainly cannot include any effort to open up our Atlantic coast to drilling. I ask all of my colleagues to support this important amendment, and I reserve the best. Good evening, friends. Economists have just released a big warning to Americans. A recession is now pushing more people including families and retirees, into poverty. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has announced that he does not support this new legislation that Democrats have proposed. President Biden may have to take executive action very soon. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to hear about all of these details. Also, to say thank you for being here and for being part of this community. I will be announcing two winners for the Walmart gift card giveaways next Friday. If you'd like to enter the weekly giveaways, all you have to do, friends, is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances, my friends, of winning the giveaways. A group of conservatives in the House of Representatives is pushing for a vote on a bill that would eliminate federal income taxes and the Internal Revenue Service. But some influential Republicans are pushing back against what appears to be a political failure for the GOP. The bill is known as a Fair Tax Act. It would scrap all individual and corporate income taxes while imposing a 30% national sales tax on goods and services to be collected at the state level thereby eliminating the need for the Internal Revenue Service. In a deal to back Speaker Kevin McCarthy in his run for House leadership, conservatives reportedly want a commitment to bring the tax bill to the floor for a vote. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said the Republican tax plan would raise the cost of buying a house by $125,000. It would raise the cost of buying a vehicle by $10,000. It would also raise your average grocery bill by $3,500 a year at a time when people are very worried about the high price of groceries. Chuck Schumer failed to note that the bill would also eliminate income and other taxes, but his remarks highlight the difficulty that Republicans might face if they push ahead with this bill. Analysis of similar tax plans show that a national sales tax would be regressive raising taxes on the poor and reducing taxes on the rich. Several Republican leaders have come out against the bill. Senator Kevin McCarthy said earlier this week 
that he opposes it, while allowing that it could come up for consideration. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise also has said he does not support the bill, preferring instead to make the tax cuts that were included in the 2017 tax law permanent. Representative Don Bacon, a relatively moderate Republican from the state of Nebraska, recently told reporters he is also opposed to the bill. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts on this bill? Do you think that our government should eliminate the Internal Revenue Service? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. More than a dozen U.S. states are continuing to send out checks to millions of Americans, hoping to provide some extra cash to consumers. As inflation drives up prices on everyday items across the board, many states are able to send these checks because of excess revenue in their budgets. Last fall, California began issuing middle-class tax refunds. They are one-time payments designed to ease the bite of inflation. As of January 13, 2023, more than 16 million direct deposits and money cards were issued, but as many as 1.4 million eligible residents. Have yet to receive their checks, which can be as much as one thousand fifty dollars. Initially, state officials said they expected to wrap up dispersals by the end of January. But if you change your banking information or address since last filing your taxes, or have other complications, you may be among those who are still waiting. California taxpayers who filed individually and made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or less. Are eligible as well as couples who filed jointly and made five hundred thousand dollars or less, according to the California Franchise Tax Board. That works out to about twenty-five million Californians in total. About ninety-five percent of middle-class tax refund payments were issued by the end of late last year. The Inflation Reduction Act is also ushering in a pair of tax benefits for Americans. Also new this filing tax season. Is the expiration of a homeowner deduction, potential double taxation for some remote workers, and the deadline for federal returns? One intended change that would have likely led to confusion was dumped late last year before it took effect. Taxpayers should avoid feeling overwhelmed by these changes by focusing on only those that affect their returns and leave the rest to the tax pros. The last two years included temporary changes to the tax code, as response to the crisis and the economic havoc that it brought onto Americans. In the 2022 tax year, many of those tax breaks have expired, but several Democrats and Republicans are continuing to try and approve further expansions of these tax credits. Well, my amazing and my most beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. For this Saturday evening, my friends, thank you so much for being here every day and for being part of this community. To show my appreciation to all of you, I will be doing weekly giveaways for the seventy-five dollar Walmart gift cards. If you'd like to enter this Friday's giveaway, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances, my friends, of winning these giveaways. Thank you, and have a very wonderful and very blessed weekend.